Hello students, this is T.A. Asha and today I will be showing you how to get started on your Photoshop project. First of all, change the unit to centimeters and make it a 50 by 50 centimeter project with 300 ppi resolution and make sure it's in CMYK mode. Then I'm going to paste an image of a kaleidoscope that I like. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use an image straight from Google, but you are going to be using the sketches that you made during class. After that, I will be using the polygon selection tool to select the shape that I think I want to be repeated. Basically, what we are going to do is place images in the shapes and repeat them over and over again to get a kaleidoscope effect. Now I will copy what I selected and paste it into the new file where I can work on connecting the images individually and separately from the original file. Now you can see me using the polygonal selection tool to create the shapes that make up this kaleidoscope. I use the paint bucket tool to fill in the parts that I selected and I use different colors to differentiate between the shapes and make it easier for me to identify them. The smaller the individual shapes are, the better it will look in the end when we repeat this shape over and over. These small lines and shapes will create a cool effect when we place the images inside them as well. The main focus of this project is of course mainly to teach you about Photoshop and its many uses and techniques, but also you will be using a lot of repetition in this project to create the kaleidoscope effect. Don't forget to save your file so that you don't lose your work if Photoshop decides to lag and crash. To put an image inside a shape, you must place the image onto Photoshop using File Place and put it above the shape you want it to be in. So take the layer that the image is on and drag it and place it above the layer of the shape you want it to fit in. After that, right click on the image layer and click on Make Clipping Mask. You will see me repeat this process over and over for all the images I want so that they all fit into each of the shapes nicely. For this specific collage, my idea is to be a grayscale collage with a pop of red and green to represent the colors of the UAE flag. If I want to make an image grayscale that's already in color like this one, I click on the image, go to image, and then adjustments, and then black and white to make it into a grayscale image. After I am done with placing all the images and the colors that I wanted, I select all the layers, right click and click on flatten layers to make them into one image. This allows it to be one object that I will copy and paste over and over again and change its position and scale to fit in the kaleidoscope shape. The collage I'm making right now is just a simple one for the purpose of this video. Yours will of course be much more detailed, will have much more techniques, and will be more unique and interesting.
don't forget to use as many techniques as possible so you can use Photoshop to its fullest potential. After copying and pasting this shape several times, the kaleidoscope shape will start to become clearer. If you click on your object, click on image and go to adjustments, you'll see there are many options for you to choose from. You can play with the brightness and the contrast. You can play with the levels, you can play with the curves, you can play with the exposure and make it super exposed to the light or not exposed at all, you can play with the vibrance of the colors and the saturation as well, you can play with the color balance, make it more red, more blue, more yellow depending on what you like. You can make it fully black and white, more black than white. You can play around with almost anything with the image. You can invert the colors and test out many different techniques that will make your kaleidoscope look cool and give it a cool effect. There is also an adjustment called the gradient map where you can choose a gradient color and apply it to all the individual little images in your kaleidoscope and this also gives a cool effect. After testing out all the adjustments, I chose the one I liked the best and applied it to all the images I wanted to have this effect. Now when it comes to layers, there's many different types of layers in Photoshop. To try them out, I'm going to create a shape over my image and place its layer above all the other elements in my collage. Then I'm going to give it a color that I like, and I'm going to try out the different layer options that Photoshop provides. Now where you see it's written normal, you can change it and try all the different effects or layer options that give you different effects on your kaleidoscope. These are very interesting to try, and I suggest you try them all and see which one fits your theme and your idea best. For my collage, I decided that the overlay option fits best. Now I'm going to create a clipping mask over this layer. Choose the black cutter and the brush tool and erase out all the parts that I don't want this effect to be on. Now that I've decided where I don't want the layer effect to be on, I'm going to create a new layer, make it overlay as well, and choose the color green to give the other parts a green effect. Here I'm also using the brush tool and the green color. After I'm done with playing with the layer options and the different adjustments, I'm going to add a background created using a gradient tool and I'm going to make it so that it fits my kaleidoscope well. I hope that by watching this video you learned some new skills and you got to see how you should go about creating your kaleidoscope collage. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.